Hello my dear students. Today in this class we will be dealing the chapter population attributes or you can even say demographic attributes. Demographic attributes in this chapter we will be talking about the population differentiation that takes place in regional space or we can even talk about that how population is affected because of various factors or elements. So first let's talk about demographic attribute of population. So this demographic attribute of population or if you call it demographic attribute simply this is the characteristics of this is the characteristics of the population the population of a particular place that what a population is composed of what is the most economic activities and what are the ways of living these all makes up the demographic attributes so if we see this then we can understand a population is mostly comprised of male and female section and that their economic activity is mostly either now if you take in India India is mostly an agrarian economy so you can say the major activity that takes place in India is of primary activity while others are involved in secondary and tertiary activities so this population if we say is divided into two regions one is the rural region that is mostly comprised of villages and the country areas while the other is urban areas to what is we call towns and cities and if we see the population composition of rural and urban areas you find in India the rural population is more with 68.84% than as compared to the urban areas which merely has 31.16% of population in the urban areas. So what ideas that we get out of this is this percentage of population as per 2011 census that we see the maximum people or population they reside in rural area that means villages villages while urban areas this mostly means towns and cities here the population is less as compared to rural areas so what we can understand out of this is that still today you can say till date we find the major population involved in primary activities that is usually agriculture so this is also one of the reasons why we can say that India is an agrarian economy and not completely industrialized. So what we find with this, with this rural population being maximum than as compared to urban population, we can say that India is a country of villages. The two data that we see with rural population and urban population will state that India is a country of villages and this can be cited as a right statement for the demographic conditions that we see in India or the demographic features that we see in India. So what is rural and uh, rural population and urban population? It's simple people residing in rural area or villages is known as rural population those residing in urban areas can be called as urban population or that is in towns and cities. This differences in population also talks about the economic activities that we follow in India wherein rural population since its maximum they are mostly involved in primary activities. Primary activities that mostly deals with that of the natural resources utilizing the natural resources like agriculture. While in urban areas, you'll find it mostly involved in secondary or tertiary. Mostly with industries and services that are associated with such industrial work. Now when we see this population distribution again, if we consider rural area first, not every place is in India or you can say there are 29 states in India and there are more number of UTs now more than seven as because of newly formed United uh, like Union territories of Jum Ladakh. So what do you find in these Union territories and the number of states that India has not every places again has the same same percentage of rural population or same percentage of urban population. 
there are most of the places in India whose urban population is higher while for that very state rural population becomes less but there are certain states in India where rural population is more than that of their urban population so if we see this in terms of rural population you will find Himachal Pradesh as one of the state in India where the rural population is maximum in fact you can see this is a state which has the largest rural population in India while if you talk about urban population then you will find mostly the southern states that has higher number of urban population or if you have to get a very good example for urban population then you can take the name for Delhi. Delhi has largest urbanization because of larger amount of migration that takes place to this Indian territory or the national capital. There are various factors that affects the population distribution. Now if you see Himachal Pradesh why it has more villages and why less number of urban population because it's a hilly state. It's a Himalayan state where accessibility is not so easy where development has not taken place as expected. So this is because the cities or towns are very less formed here. Well, since people are mostly involved in agricultural activities rather than the industrial activities is also one of the reason why this state has more number of village populations or rural population than that of urban population. There are certain states which has such factors that affect the population distribution while if you take Delhi with the urban population then you can account to Delhi because one it is the national capital second it is mostly urbanized and it, it has all the industrial sectors located in this region which attracts lots of people here and hence urbanization has also increased and on the other hand because of improvement in their infrastructures and so many facilities there it is completely an urban centers People in Delhi are not involved in agricultural activities, rather they are involved with the services of either industries and associated work to industries. But what, can, what we can see is, since 1901 and thereafter till 2011, what we see here is, the rural population was maximum in this case and urban population was minimum during 1901 when the census was done in 1901 we found that the urban population was very less as compared to rural population what we can also find is that urban population in the year to 1901 was mere 10.8 for only while rural population was more almost 90% and this has changed all the way long when we come down to 2011. The rural population is decreasing and urban population is increasing. That means we can say that we are moving towards development. We are moving towards development. As per 2011 census, we can find rural population only with 68.84%. While that for urban areas, it's 31.16%. From 10.84% in 1901, we have come almost three folds leap over to 2011 with 31.16% of urban population. So this is all about the urban and the rural populations as one of the characteristics that determines the demographic attributes.